What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. Let's just jump right back in. Since we last left off, holy heck, I've done a lot of off-camera stuff again. You know, just busy work again, you know, just feeding all the slimes, making sure they're all fed and all that kind of stuff. And uh, also, you know, collecting plorts, selling plorts, getting money out of them. And of course, I did some more races. I did like two more races over here with Mochi Miles, and I didn't realize it. Like, I did really well on this latest one that I did. I got like 130 or something like that, Quicksilver plorts, which was crazy. And it's going to take us over the uh, 450 that we need in order to get this thing, the upgraded chicken coop or something here. So definitely want to give her 10 more here. And then uh, we should. Uh, there we go. All right. I don't even know how much money we got right there. Probably like another 200 or something like that. <laughs> Let's answer the call. Let's see what Mochi Miles has to say. What the? You collected how many? Well, then I suppose the deluxe coop is now available to you. All right. Well, that sounds good. I would say good luck managing all those chickens, but honestly, you seem to know how to handle yourself. That's right. You know, sometimes I feel like this whole planet is a coop. Just a pen to keep people far away. <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of true, honestly. Sometimes I feel like my dad didn't send me out here for a special assignment after all. Yeah, your dad sent you to a human coop. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I feel like I was sent here just to stay out of his way. Ooh, just a chicken in a coop. Oh, <laughs> speaking of chickens, what's a bird brain like you doing hanging around here when there's so much work to do? Let's get back to the task at hand. Get me another batch of Quicksilver plorts and I'll give you a very special reward. Access to this manor and its plots. Ooh, that sounds good. So we could actually grow stuff over here, keep slimes over here if we want to. That seems really good. My manor would be the one ranch expansion you have that isn't embarrassing. Wouldn't that be nice? Gosh, he's such a savage for no reason. We're gonna get 700 of these Quicksilver, but at least I got a little bit of a head start here. Jeez. There we go. Let's place all these here, and then uh, we're gonna get access to her manor, right? Yeah, it just shows the icon right there, which I assume means if you come over here, this will open up. And I don't know how many plots are over there. Like, one plot right there. Looks like another plot right there. Oh, another plot all the way back there. I guess that's the ranch house right there. Hmm. All right. Oh, and there's some stuff over here, too. What is that? I wish I could zoom in. I can't really tell what that is, but... Yeah, we need to get, like, another, like, 650 or something like that. More of those. <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. Jeez. Anyways, you know, I was thinking, like... what? Wh wh where am I going to move my slimes? Because I've, I've been wanting to do them for a little while now. I never actually did them. I need to move these guys out of here. Because these this is basically the fruit area here. Uh, and I, I definitely think I'm going to combine these two together here. <laughs> these the, these rad slides with these these quantum slides over here. I think I'm going to end up doing that, you guys. So probably going to get a bunch of their plorts and feed them to each other. And then, uh, oh, well, this guy's over here collecting them all. And then I guess it will be a lot easier. We'll be able to feed these guys just by giving them the lemons. And that will be their favorite food. Uh, same thing over here. We can just give them the, uh, the mint mangoes. And that's good because they're hunter slides. They don't need the, uh, or they're hunter, hunter, honey hunter largos. So they could eat either the meat or the fruit, which is good. Good. But these guys don't really belong here, honestly. They eat either meat or uh, fruit or uh, vegetables. I don't think they really belong there, so uh, I definitely want to move them potentially over there or even over here. Actually, you know what? Maybe even over here. Because we've got the meat from all the chickens. You know what? This isn't that bad of an idea. Let's do that. But where am I going to put them? Here, I suppose? Yeah, I, I guess we could do that. Here we go. Corral, yep, yeah, let's get a corral, let's upgrade this thing fully, high walls, music box, sure, airnet, yep, port collector, auto feeder, just get everything for these guys, I and mean, I guess we'll move them over here one by one, because they are Largos, can't just suck them up or anything like that, we're gonna have to actually, uh, like, like, pick them up one by one, and then move them over there, and then, hey, they'll actually be able to eat some chickens, and, uh, maybe, maybe every now and then I'll pick up some carrots and stuff like that, but I guess I'll just have to do this, just to move them over there one by one, because I think we have, like, Five or six of them, I forget. So it's going to take me a little while to do this, but I'll definitely have to uh, do the rest of them here in just a second off camera. But just wanted to show you guys, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about moving them over here. And I wanted to wait until on camera, just throw them over there like a... Jeez, I'm savage. I'm just like Mochi Miles. I do need to top this thing off with some water every now and then as well. How are we doing over here chicken-wise, though? Uh, yeah, look at this. It's dispensing chickens right now, and a lot of them. A few of them right there. Golly, let me grab a couple right here. Just to keep the, uh, the new area nice and... Like, chickened up, I guess you could say. 
<laughs> oh, here we go. And then what's great is that we have this guy over here, and we have, of course, we have the chickens. There you go. And, of course, we have carrots and stuff like that grown over here as well, which is awesome. It's just that it's not the heartbeats that this guy, uh, the, the, the rock slime, specifically likes. So, there you go. Put more hen hens inside of there. There you go. And you know what? I need to, I need to put some hen hens inside of the auto feeder. That's the port collector. I need to put them over here. There you go. That way... The robot guy, the drone, knows, hey, put chickens over there and put chickens in the uh, hunter ones. So that's good. We should have that pretty much automated right now, which is awesome. Uh, if, if we can pick up, if I could find some plorts over here. Oh, yeah, there's three right there. Might have some plorts in storage. Uh, then over here, what should I do? Should I, could, I should, I probably should combine all these guys together with all the, uh, the, the plorts over there. So you know what? Let me suction up all this. This is going to be very risky because there's a lot of them right here. I don't even know how many there are. 16? I had that. Wait, 17. I had that many of them there this whole time. Golly. All right. Well, uh, definitely want to uh, get some rad plorts over there and we'll combine them together. So uh, let's grab these. Here we go. And I don't know if we have any phosphor plort. I oh, yeah. We do have. Oh, that's probably way too many. Which is good, though, but, uh, I guess we'll just do it anyways, because you guys did say, hey, if you combine these guys together and get, uh, ra Oh, man, look at these guys! Whoa! If you combine these guys together, you're not gonna get, like, like, their little hologram little, little things here, little quantum hologram things, they won't have the radiation, like, circle thing with that. I was honestly kind of- Uh-oh. I guess they're bouncing- I just have so many Largos here that they're bouncing out, which isn't that good! <laughs> Oh, no. Well, there's another one right there. Here's a couple more. Can we get a couple more? Here we go. That is a lot of them there. Man. Oh, no. Yeah, see, well, their, their little holograms are huge now because they're, they're Largos. Oh, oh, here's another one. There you go. But their, their, their holograms don't have the big circle of, of radiation around them, which is good. That's what I was worried about. Good to know that that doesn't actually pose a risk or anything like that. Which, hey, look at this. Now I can just give them a bunch of lemons and stuff like that, and they'll be fine. Like, look at this. Let me get a bunch of lemons. Let me just actually grab all the phase lemons here. And if I don't have enough lemons, I've got a lot of mangoes I can give them as well. Like, look at all this. There we go. Look at all that. There's a bunch of food in there. It's crazy. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to continue moving these guys one by one, but I do want to go over here. We have 17 rad slimes right now. I do want to go grab or uh, go place these guys down over here and do the same thing. Do we get some phosphor plorts? Oh, we've got 14. Perfect. Go over here before that guy sucks them up and uh, sells them. So let's get to... Uh, how many do we have? 17. So I guess we'll get all but three. There you go. Then... Uh, Yep, there you go. Put all their plorts up inside there. So hopefully the Oh, they're bouncing all over the place. Hopefully they start eating them and, and get some Largos inside here. That's good. I could already see a few. Oh, wait, no, they're transforming right now, which is good. So I should be able to feed these guys Oka Okas or Q Berries. And that'll be their favorite food. And we'll be able to get double the plorts out of them, which is awesome. So there we go. Finally making some progress here. It's just that I'm kind of worried that they're, they're going to float out of here. But we do have the air nets, which is great. I just don't know if eventually they'll actually make their way out of there. And I'll have to worry about uh, wrangling them back up. Man, look at all those plorts. Of course, it's double plorts from all the Oka Okas. Any of them escape right there from the suctioning of the uh, the plort collector? No. 38 right there. 28 right there. Are there any? Uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, I've got three more. Rad. You know what? We have a few more of these. Place the other rad slimes up inside there. There you go. And then... There we go. Hopefully they get uh, transformed into large. Oh! Big boom explosion right there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Trans okay, another one just transformed. Is there another one in there somewhere? Or I don't know. I, I should oh, man, one of them did escape, though. Yep. I don't know. I think we may have too many inside there. You know, just, just a couple too many. <laughs> if you're asking me. Golly. But yeah, they, that, that should be more than enough, you guys. Like, look at this. And then the Oka Oka's. We just suctioned all those out. So as one of the drones came over here and put even more inside there, which is great. So that should keep them all fed. So that's good. We have got, we have Largos over here. We have like six or something like that. We have like yeah, 16 over here. <laughs> so we got way too many. We've got our work cut out for all these drones over here. So hey, hopefully they'll collect all the, the plorts and sell them just like they're doing right now, which is awesome. We do have pink slimes over there still. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to care for them and all that kind of jazz. Uh, trying to give them carrots and stuff like that that we have over here. One thing I did think of was that... <laughs> the thing is, we need another drone to do it, though. But, like, you know the carrots over here? We don't really need to give them to anything because those guys eat the odd onions. Those guys eat the oka okas. Here are the oka okas. Uh, here's the odd onions. This also grows carrots. So maybe, I, I was kind of thinking, I could place down one of these teleporter things. The pink warp depot. And then that could, uh, we could place one side here and then the other side potentially like over there or maybe some other part. And then 
the, uh, one of these guys can deposit the, but I'd need another drone to do that, or like an advanced drone, like you guys said. So that's just kind of an idea of what I had, uh, or an idea of whatever. No, I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of an idea I had that we could use to uh, to take care of all the extra the ports and all, or not the ports, but the extra like vegetables and stuff like that that we have carrots, all that kind of jazz. Because these guys are hungry, and I always have to manually come over here with the carrots and try and feed them and stuff like that. You know, so if I can kind of simplify it. Oh, and by the way. Uh, if I can kind of simplify it by, like, you know, transporting resources all over my base, and hey, I'll take that, no problemo. Honestly, it might be better of an idea, I just thought right there. Because Mochi Miles is going to give us access to her ranch here sometime soon. Maybe we could place one of these uh, pink warp teleporters over there, and then we could have our slimes, like, transport uh, a bunch of stuff from there over to here? That seems like a better use for it. Also off camera, I did get, uh, like, little notifications for a blue teleporter, a gray teleporter, a blue warp depot, and a gray warp depot, so that's cool. So I guess I guess we could have, like, color-coded uh, teleporters. We have a pink teleporter right now going over to the ancient ruins, and we could get a gray one and a blue one, and that will kind of say, okay, the gray one goes here, the blue one goes there, and that's kind of an easy way to kind of keep track of where the uh, each teleporter takes you. And, of course, the same thing with the depots. Uh, it'll, it'll be able to keep track of where each depot you know, sends all the items and stuff like that. Also did get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, whenever you actually buy the ash trough from over here, it's like, comes, it's already full. So that's what this, I guess this is what the ash looks like whenever it's full. We need to get a new slime and actually put it over here and put this ash to use. So that's something we need to look forward to here, potentially this episode, because I do want to go back to the, there you go, grab all these. Oh, whoops. How many do we, yeah, we need five quanta plus, there you go. I do want to go back to the ancient ruins that we explored last episode, or at like at the end of last episode, and actually place down these quantum ports over there and finally unlock that thing and see what happens whenever we put all the uh, the quantum ports where they need to go. I think, I, yeah, we got a star mail over here, so I guess we'll check, take a look at that. Uh, oh, it's a thing from Casey. Okay, well, let's read this real quick. Coming home from Casey. Hi, B. The year we both came home, do you think it ever could have worked? I mean, being with you again every day instead of this long distance thing. That was great. I remember feeling really happy, but something was missing. We both knew that we were giving something up for it all. I think about it all the time, that if we had been less honest about it all, how you might have still been running that little garden shop and I'd still be trying to write music out of a basement. It doesn't matter. I should have told you then what I never did. I should have said it a hundred times. Casey. Oh, sounds like Casey misses us. And honestly, we probably miss him too. because. We're like, who knows how many light years away from him right now. That sucks. But at least we're getting star mails and stuff like that, and we're sending them back and forth to each other, so that's cool. Any uh, any of these guys actually escape, though? Not th uh, There's so many ports and lemons and stuff like that inside there, I, I'm, I, I'd actually be surprised if any of them escaped. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy. Look at all these mangoes over here, too. So we've got the uh, the quantum ports, which is good. We've got those for the uh, adventure here later on. Was there another thing I wanted to do? Oh yeah, I, I was going to move these guys over. I forgot about that. Yeah, let me move these uh the, these largos over here to the chicken area. Uh, what what is this? There is like a proper name of this area. What is it called again? Oh man, he's attacking me! Stop attacking me! The overgrowth. That's what it's called. <laughs> the chicken area. Ah oh, no! There you go. No! What are you doing? No! I just there we go. Sheesh. Let's take these largos over to the overgrowth. I'm going to pause. And as you can see, I have some Kukadobas in my inventory right now because I do want to go back to Ogden Ortiz's area because I do have enough. Wait, we have another star mail? I thought that's what that icon is where it shows the home. Uh, maybe it's a different icon. Uh, I don't know. But every time I see that icon, it, it seems like we have a star mail. So who knows what that actually means? <laughs> or maybe we do have another star mail. But look at all these chickens inside here. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I need to put more chickens inside the actual uh, auto feeder doohickey thing. That way, the uh, the drone knows to come over here with some chickens. Oh, yeah, it already did. Look at that. Ten chickens inside. They're awesome. <laughs> Great. Well, hopefully it's still putting chickens in the other area over there. And it's not putting them all in that area. But... I do need to pause and, and and keep moving these Largos over to that new area. But before I do, I just want to check for curiosity's sake. What is this all about here? Yeah, what what is that? Is it a 7Z reward thing that it wants me to uh turn to the ranch? Yeah, look at that. It still has the icon. Hold on. Go to the map. Yeah, I don't know what that icon. I thought it was for Star Mail, but I guess not. Speaking of such. Uh, oh yeah, Master Gordo Snare Blueprint. Yeah, you guys said, hey, uh, this 7Z Rewards Club thing is better than the, uh, the, of course, the novice snare I think we have right now. And it's even better than the, I think, advanced snare that I was looking at making last episode. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. They're a completely different thing, you guys. We also got, like, uh, oh yeah, Ultra Dash. Is that the thing that we got? 
Experimental footwear capable of reducing the cost of sprinting even further makes you think walking is for suckers. I think we got that from the 7Z rewards. We got the dash boots earlier on, and then we got the ultra dash boots, which I guess, you know, uses less and less stamina than normal whenever we're sprinting, which is great. Speaking of such, I guess we can get that 7Z reward. We've got the money. Tank booster ultra? Ooh, so that means I have more storage for stamina, I assume. And of course, Master Gordo Snare Blueprint. Golly, 60,000. Like, what am I going to do with all this money other than get these 7Z rewards things, right? So, that Jeez, Heart Module Ultra. Golly, I can get even more money. Or uh, more health with all this extra money. 75,000. Jeez. Ghost Wine Chroma and uh, Volcanic Chroma for the uh, colors. I've been looking at the colors for a while. I need to look at them and see uh, if there's anything new that... Might want to change you just to kind of spice things up a little bit, you know? Let's see, Ginger Snap, Peapod. Okay, so we have Peapod right now. Vanguard, did we say? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, like, that, that sounds familiar. I think we already tested it out before. Neapolitan, uh, eh, not really. Mint Chip. Ooh, I like that. Hold on, let me let me switch over to Mint Chip here. For the tech and the, uh, the, the, the vac pack back thing. Mint Chip. Honestly, I kind of like it. Kind of make me hungry too. For look at, look at that. <laughs> there's the chocolate chip. There's the mint part. Honestly, kind of making me hungry. It even changes the drones too. <laughs> They've got the little mint like chocolate chip like stripes on their back too. Man, I, I like this. It's it's, it's 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 a very subtle, new fresh uh, coat of paint, but I like it honestly. Is there anything else here that might be interesting? Like like cobalt is like so much more different from uh, what we had before. I think we had that for a short period of time. Is there anything like salamander? Like, honestly, it kind of blends in with the ground and stuff like that a little bit too much. Tomatillo? Uh, hold on, what does that look like again? I don't know, I might, I might honestly like that a little bit more. Let's switch tech over to Tomatillo. There you go. And... Yep, there you go. Let's see. That's a little bit darker than the mint chocolate chip. But the brown is a little bit lighter. Huh, what does the drone look like? Uh, yeah, the brown stripes on him a little bit lighter there. I think I'll keep this. All these- Oh, yeah, I still need to move these guys. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting? Like, that, they're so huge. I have, like, five, six of them. I should have moved them all by now. So, you know what? Let me let me pause the recording. Let me try and move all these, uh, the rest of these, uh, it's Rock Tabby Largos over to the new area over there. And hopefully they'll be nice and happy over there. And I'll see you guys here in just a sec. Where we're going to go back to the, uh, to the ancient ruins and put up all these quantum plorts and go see what that area has to offer you guys. So I'll see you guys here in just a sec. All right, guys, I'm back and I moved all the Largos over here. So now they're over here eating all the chickens and stuff, which is awesome because I believe the Hen Hen is actually the favorite food of the Tabby, isn't it? So we get double the uh, plorts out of them whenever they eat all these Hen Hens, which is great because we have so many of them that spawn over here anyways, right? So can't complain about that. And yeah, I, I just remembered, yeah, don't we have like an upgraded coop or something like that over here now? Yep, deluxe upgrade. So what is this? A special upgrade designed by Mochi Miles or Mochi Miles that doubles the number of chickens you can keep and moves elders out. Ooh, hold on. Let's do that. Boom. Upgraded. So hold on. Whenever an, an elder chicken. Like, oh, there's an elder white right there. Hold on. Is that suctioning up elder chickens? Did it just suction one up? Yeah, there it is right there. Look at that. Awesome. So, yeah, when they grow old enough, uh... Oh, look at, the, look at the little pillows and stuff like that. <laughs> this is awesome. And they're watching, like, chicken game shows. What is that, Jeopardy right there <laughs> with the chickens? Oh, yeah, look at that. They really scribbled right there. Who knows what they wrote? They don't even have, like, <laughs> hands or fingers or anything like that. Probably scribbled that with her beak. <laughs> look, look at that. Look at that game show contestant right there on, on Jeopardy. Or chicken Jeopardy. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. I love these little, little, little small details here. And then speaking of chicken, we have a little toy chicken right there. Yeah, we need to get more, uh, more of those toys. D didn't we have a toy over here for these guys? I don't think we ever did. Yeah, we never did, did we? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, hold on. Um, do we need to make... Because we have... Yeah, we have the Rubik's Cube over there. I, I wonder if we can get a few more of those, honestly. I guess I can get the yarn ball. Sure, why not? There, yeah. We can go put that over there just because why not? Buzzy Bee, we already have that. Stuffed chicken, there's something like some sort of light soulmate? Uh, I don't think so. Stego buddy, charcoal. There was something for... Like some... Oh, there it is, nightlight. Yeah, reduces the agitation of nearby slimes, especially phosphorus slimes who are just as spooked in the darkest recipes. Let's get that as well. 
So, oh my gosh, the sound of like glass breaking right there. <laughs> Let's go put this yarn ball over here just because, hey, why not, right? And then, uh, I guess if we do the same thing, just like every type of slime, we can just give them whatever they want. Uh, and then I guess we can go get the, the lantern and go put that over there. And I don't know if we have anything for the radiation slimes we could put over there. I think we already looked it up before and there wasn't anything. So, let's see. I'm like, oh wait, power cell. Uh, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. So I guess we get the power cell and we get the light or uh, the lantern or whatever. And we can head over there and hopefully this will reduce any agitation. And uh, I, I don't know if there's anything for the pink slime necessarily, but I guess we'll go uh, check here in just a sec after I throw this battery over there as well as that uh, nightlight thing. Nope, there you go. There's a battery, like a car battery or something there. <laughs> that the rad slimes are gonna love. Let's go back and let's go grab the uh, the, the lantern. Yep, there you go. So we've got a lantern in there. We got a big old battery inside there. <laughs> Hopefully they're gonna have fun with that. And of course I could do the same thing for these guys. The boom and uh, crystal uh, largos there. So I need to figure out what they eat. So we could actually give them a toy or not what they eat, what they like over here in terms of toys. <laughs> Hopefully they don't eat their toys, right? Let's see, big rock. Oh yeah, that's another thing for the rock slime. I guess we can get that then. Uh, get get that for them. Sheet. Crystal ball, that's probably... Yep, crystal slimes. So we can get that, that's going to be good. I'm like, might as well spend this money we have. If we get, if I'm like, it's something better than the 7Z stuff, right? At least for right now. Mosaic slimes? We haven't seen dervish slimes? Fire slimes? Tangle slimes? Sa oh, this is for saber slimes. That's why we have this. We don't even have any saber slimes because you can't even get a, a regular version of them. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I, I guess the only way to get them is by we have like 50 uh, saber lar or saber plorts. I guess we have to make a largo out of them, and that's the only way we can get them, you know, because we already read about how uh, scientists are already trying to get like normal versions of them, and they can't do it or some weird meme. So bomb ball, that's it. That's for the other one. Yep, boom slimes. So oh, let me get that big old bomb. Let me go put this over here with the boom slimes. Let me just uh, throw that bomb over there. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't blow them up. I was about to say hopefully it doesn't blow them up, but I'm like they're already blowing themselves up. Because <laughs> they're boom slimes. Let me go grab the uh, the other thing over here, the crystal ball. That should be great as well. Yep, there you go, crystal ball. Put that over there. Oh, wait. Oh, it rolled outside. Yep, pick that up. Yep, there we go. So we got a big old literal bomb over here with the bomb slimes. We got a crystal ball right there. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I did think, by the way, that I do need to get an, a, uh, a new drone to put over in the overgrowth. That way we could actually, you know, have have one drone that's collecting those chickens and putting them inside the feeders. And we can get another drone. Hopefully we could actually afford it. Where would that be? Here it is right here. Um, oh, we have everything. Okay, perfect. Boom. Novice, advanced, gore, uh, oh, we can make the master Gordo snare right now. What? A special snare that captures a Gordo snare. I can make that. I can't make the advanced one for some reason, but I can make the master one. What? Spiral, stream, hexa, uh, comb. You know what? Let's do this. There you go. Master Gordo Snare. Let's do that. I did get some comments of you guys saying I could just place that in my base. So maybe I'll do that. Cause apparently, I guess you can't like actually catch a Gordo or whatever with this thing. Which is kind of weird. I guess you just place it down and then you like put either a plort or like a favorite food or something like that. And it's supposed to spawn in the thing. And it's supposed to be like decoration, I guess. I guess we'll see that here in just a bit though. Now if I could spawn in any type of Gordo, which one would it be though? I don't know. Well, we do need to go place that other drone over there, though. Oh, this is out of water. Oop, there you go. Yeah, I definitely want to check up on the tank over here. Not necessarily the drone itself, but the little tank that's next to it. Make sure it always has uh, water inside of it. That way it's able to power up those uh, little drone guys, which is great. And, of course, we can go over here and just fill it up pretty easily, because, like, we got a... Uh... Oh, they... Oh, yeah, our backpack it upgraded. So we could hold 100 now. Isn't that something we got from the 7Z uh, Rewards, I think? Or maybe something else, I forget. I think, yeah, I think it was from the 7Z Rewards, wasn't it? Yeah. So, that Kukadoba down there is 11? It would, I think it'd fill up a lot more than just that tiny little bit down there. I think we actually can hold 100 things right now, you guys. So if that's the case, do we have 100 plorts over here? We only have 23, only have 23. What about over here? Oh, oh a lot of chickens just spawned in right there, perfect. <laughs> Put them over here and get a lot. Oh, they already have a lot of chickens right now. <laughs> That's way too many chickens. 17 there, 17 there. Yeah. I just want to test it out, but I can't. Look at all these chickens. Man. Let's put, all, let's put a more, more hen hens over here because these guys are hungry. There you go. Oh, yeah. These guys already have the, the pet, so that's good. I was about to say, yeah, I need to give them a pet. And, of course, if anything, I do need to get a rubber ducky for these guys over here. And they'll be, uh, well, they're, they're fine right now. I don't think that's really that huge of a deal. And of course, we have elder chickens and stuff like that. That's kind of cool, though. We have this, like, deluxe thing over here. I don't think you can get up... Yeah, you can't upgrade anymore. So there you go. 
Uh, so that's awesome. And was there something? Oh yeah, I was going to place down another drone. Yeah, we're keeping the drones up here, which is awesome. So, uh, yep, there you go. I'm like, since we can hold 99 or 100 water right now, that just kind of shows, yeah, you can hold 100 of anything now, which is awesome. Place down a drone here, boom. And then we'll need to, uh, there you go. Let's tell it to get plorts, yes, out of the plort collectors and then put them in the market link. Yes, so it just sells it. Let's activate it, boom. And it should now, if it wakes up, there you go. It should now go grab the plorts from over there, the tabby, the uh, rock plort, and of course the hunter plorts from over there and go sell them over there in that market link. And we'll have the same thing happening here that we have all the way over there where we have two drones, one of them taking care of food, one of them taking care of plorts, and we're pretty well set. Only problem though is that the pond slimes over here, because they don't have a plort collector or anything like that, I guess I'll still have to manually grab their plorts every now and then, huh? So that'll suck, but whatever, not that big of a deal. Yeah, this is Ogden over here. So we do have Kugadobas. I think I'm, yeah, I'm literally missing just one. I purposely left that behind. <laughs> let's give him that one. There we go. Let's grab that uh, spicy tofu and I'll uh, see what he has to say on this phone call right here. You did it. I can try out my new recipe with all these delicious Kugadobas. I really love to cook. It calms me down and lets me focus on making something nutritious for body and soul. Oh, look at that stew over there he's got. It looks pretty delicious. It's funny. Food only became a true passion for me after leaving my Insta-Food company. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't leave. I was ousted by the board of directors because I tried to sabotage the company. <laughs> I wanted to see it fall. Man, he's a savage from the inside trying to break down the, 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 this Insta-Food company making fake food because he wants real food. No wonder they ousted him, right? Uh, we were making people sick, Beatrix. The food we sold was garbage, and we knew it. It was all about the money. I wanted it all to go away. But it had to become too big. I couldn't stand up against it, so I was gone. I got my ticket to the far, far range soon thereafter. And so here we are, listening to me carry on about the past instead of focusing on those kookadobas. Now let's get back on track. Get me another load of kookadobas, and I'll be so grateful that I'll give you the keys to my retreat. That's right. It'll all be yours to keep. All right, so it seems like the same thing. Uh, good luck out there. Seems like the same thing as Mochi Miles, where we just get... Well, it's only 150, only 150 Kukudobas. This one seems a little bit more manageable. Like, I was able to get, like, I'd say, like, 30 to 40 Kukudobas per trip over there. And, of course, we got some more uh, spicy tofu right there, which is great. There we go. And, yep, we get access to his uh, ranch over here, which has four plots right here. I can see there's a fifth in the background. Is that a sick? I think it might be. So yeah, we got a lot of plot, a uh, lot of, yeah, a lot of plots over here, not plorts. Well, we can get a lot of plorts if we get those plots set up. That's good that we got those two missions done, you guys. And of course, a lot of that was uh, done off camera. I know I got some comments of you guys saying not to do like anything off camera because it's always fun to watch me play this stuff. But, you know, I just don't like recording too much of the same repetitive footage over and over and over again, you know, so that's why I just didn't record that. And I usually do that for everything here on the channel. But for right now, I guess I'll sell. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a great test. Yeah, look at this. We're going to hit 50 and it's only going to be halfway. Yep, we can hold 100 things at a time right now, you guys. Awesome. This is going to make selling all these plorts so much easier. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I was supposed to hold a uh, five. Yeah, we need to go back to the ancient rooms before this episode uh, ends or anything like that. <laughs> so let's, let's definitely do that. I don't even, oh, yeah. Yeah, we have green price on the uh, on the quantum floors, which is great. I'm like, I'm not even looking at the prices. We just have so many of them anyways. I might as well just sell them. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Look at the gold plort right there. I keep getting comments saying I should still try and myth bust whether or not we can give a gold plort to like, say, like a pink slime and see what would happen with that. Pretty sure nothing's supposed to happen, like it can't even eat it or anything like that. I doubt we can get like a gold uh, pink Largo or anything like that. If so, that'd be crazy like OP. You get like so much money, I bet. But, uh, there you go. Oh yeah, and then we have the advanced uh, Gordo thing, right? So if I had a Gordo, where would I place it down? Like a Gordo display. Uh, Honestly, probably out in the open somewhere, not like here. <laughs> Maybe here, <laughs> but probably not here. I guess we could do it like out in the open, like here, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? Let's do it. Let's put the, uh, let's see. Where would it be? Master Gordo Snare. A master class Gordo Snare that guarantees a Gordo who favors the food used. Okay, so it's food. So if I give it, 
what is it? Like a, a briar head or something like that? We should get a uh, boom slime. I think we did that last episode with a uh, boom uh, slime gordo. If I give it... Oh, yeah, so I guess he can't have a pink one because pink ones don't have a favorite food. Ooh. Oh, well, I bait it with food and then wait. So I don't know what the difference between these is, necessarily. Like, this one's like a guaranteed thing, I guess. Well, you know what? Let's boom. There you go. We installed that. Uh, get rid of this. There you go. So what is the favorite food? Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, how's the moon looking right now? Oh, yeah, it's a happy slime. Look at that. Look at the happy slime right there. You guys see that? It's face, it's eyes, it's mouth right there. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I changed the uh, the channel emotes. If you guys are a channel member here, uh, you can actually use a waffle slime emo now, which is really, really cool. Just whenever you're leaving a comment, there should be like a little smiley face if you're a member and you have like a bunch of different little emotes that you could use and leave a comment. I replaced some of the ones that, you know, people just weren't using <laughs> with the slime one, which is really cool. So we have a waffle slime emote in the comments if you guys are a member. If you guys aren't a member, just be sure to click that join button and you'll be able to directly support the channel. And of course, in return, you'll get really cool emotes and a bunch of other perks too. So that's really awesome. Be sure to go check the link in the video description to find out how to become a member if you guys are interested. But either way, I do want to see... Oh yeah, if I wanted to make a giant quantum, we have the, uh, the lemons over here. Oh, let's get the honey one. So that would be the mint mango, right? So that would be my slime. That would basically be the waffle slime that I just talked about with the other uh, little emote. So let's see. I th oh, hold on. I want to double check just because, you know, this might not be a reversible thing. Honey slime? Yes, mint mango. So let's put a mint mango over here. And that should spawn in a honey slime. Or a honey slime gordo or what? how is this going to work? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe after a certain amount of time it's going to spawn. Oh, got that. Uh, thankfully, those things don't have radiation around them. Can I get, oh, I can't get that back. E to activate. Okay, I keep. Okay, I was about to say, like, is that permanent or what? But yeah, it looks like we can pick that up, so that's good. I guess we could just place down three Gordos right here if we wanted to. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe whenever uh, we come back from the Ancient Ruins, we'll come back and we'll have a giant honey Gordo, like, here at the base. That's going to be pretty funny. <laughs> but I might as well sell uh, a few more Quantum uh, Ports real quick. Just because we have so many of them, might as well get a little bit of money. And of course, keep five in our inventory. I think it's five. I keep thinking it might be six, but I, I, I'm going to keep five just to get... Oh, whoops. I sold a little bit too extra right there. <laughs> but let, let's go over here. Let's go grab one more. Yep, there you go. And I think we should be good to go, you guys. So that would mean going over here. Oh, we haven't done one of those missions in a while. <laughs> Maybe we could do one of those, like... I doubt we can... Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, what? Come on! It spawned in and there was nothing... Ah! Oh, I didn't have anything for the golden slime! Oh yeah, that reminds me, I wanted to test out the gold plort thing that I mentioned. Man! Ah! Oh, there's actually nothing! I can't give it a plort. I don't think. I have to, I have to give it actual food, like a, like a fruit or a vegetable or a meat. Ah! Oh, I'm like, if anything, that's better than the luggy one. The luggy one just gives you like, what, a hundred uh, new bucks or something like that? That one at least gives you a gold plort, which is really cool. Yeah, man! All right, well, let's grab a... Oh, yeah, we have two of these, so we can definitely myth bust this. I I really think nothing's going to happen here, but, you know, just for sake of myth busting, just for curiosity, let's see what happens when we give a, a pink slime a gold plort. Oh, 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 I thought something was about to happen. Oh, is oh, someone going to eat that? Nope. Yeah, nothing, nothing's happening right now. No, one, no one's even trying to eat it. These guys are hungry. Although, I don't know if that has anything to do. Like, I'm pretty sure if they're full, they can still eat a plort and become a Largo, right? If they want to, but... Yeah, I don't think it works. Like, you guys saw earlier on how fast we were able to turn those rad guys into Phosphor Rad Largos. And, uh, same thing with the, uh, the, the Quantum ones and the Quantum Rad Largos. Yeah, I don't think this works. So, myth busted. Gold plorts, you cannot give them to a slime and get a, a Largo. Pretty sure we knew about that a while ago, but at least we tested it out right there, just to make sure. Still haven't gotten a big old Gordo guy right here, though, so that kind of sucks. Was there something else I was going to do here before I... So, oh yeah, I, I just came back to do the myth busting, so I was just making sure before I leave and then I forget about something else, you know? <laughs> so that's good. So, either way, let's just go over here now. Let's go check up on uh, the ancient ruins, like, 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 like quantum slime statue things that are over here. Hopefully we'll be able to actually open that thing up and see what happens, so... Let me head over there real quick, because I don't know how to get over there really quickly right now. <laughs> so I'll just cut this out of the video. I'll see you guys here in a sec once I get there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Redemption. Gold, gold, sl oh jeez, almost just fell off right there. But I don't, I don't have any food or anything like that I can give him. Gold slime. Ah, uh, if we can get like a pogo fruit or something. Or oh, there's Q-berries there, but I don't think it actually has any Q-berries, does it? 
Uh, if I can find a chicken or something. Yeah, no keyberries there that are... Ah, Tabby. Ah, man. Is that guy... Is he still over there? Oh, did he eat a... Is that a plort? Is that a gold plort? I think it is! I think he, I think he ate a chicken! Oh, you guys! I didn't even feed him! I think a chicken or something like that spawned over here. He ate it! And then he disappeared. He dropped the gold plort. I, I'm not complaining. Thank you very much, golden uh, slime. At least I didn't get close enough to that guy where he, like, disappeared or anything like that. So that's good. Uh, oh, whoops. I need to go all the way over here. Here we go. I might as well just continue record right now. I'm like, we're relatively close. Here's, like, the entrance area that we had to open up with that slime key. Which, by the way, yeah, I got comments of you guys saying that, uh... Oh, wait, what? How do I pull? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the slime key thing right there. I guess that one out of two just means I got one key out of the two keys you can get in this area. So I guess there's another Gordo somewhere else. You can get a slime key from that thing. But let's go down here and say, oh, it's probably going to activate down here, huh? A Gordo is going to spawn in and it's going to be like, oh, feed me. And I'll have to get like a billion chickens or something like that for it. Yeah, we already read that thing. So, uh, quantum plort. <laughs> okay, that's good that that works. I'm like, their eyes kind of give it away with a little quantum... Quantum little effect going on. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, it's like... Oh, it's like powering these things up. It's like feeding energy from those things to here. Well, it looks like it's doing it there, too, but it, uh, I didn't place anything there. Oh, do I have it? Yeah, okay, I have enough. I was about to say. Maybe it was six, but that's good. So there we go. We got five. Oh! What's gonna happen? Something just... Oh! Is this like a giant teleporter thing here? What is this? What is this? Hold on. Ow! We got it! Smoke, fire, and mirrors achievement right there. It's like glass desert under a blistering sun. Prismatic giants evoke beauty and peril. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I like the sound of that, honestly. Hold on. Do we, like, go back in time or something like that? Uh, or in the future, where this is like... Butterscotch teleporter. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know when we are. <laughs> it feels like we went back in time here, you guys. Butterscotch warp depot. Yeah, that happened off camera where I got like two of the things at the same time, but they're just like different colors. So let's see. Oh wait, no, this... It didn't just lead out to the open like this. I had to go down downstairs and stuff like that last time. Oh, look at this. This is, this is like the crystal slimes. Uh, or, oh my gosh, they're huge. I was about to say like the crystals from the crystal slimes, but these are like trees. This area seems crazy, you guys. Look at the giant slime face down there. What is this stuff? I don't think we can do anything with that. I feel like we're about to encounter something, you guys. Like something's gonna spawn in. And we're probably gonna get like killed. Can't do anything there. Oh, oh, what is this? A cactus. I was about to say, like, we could grow a cactus at our uh, base. Oh, yeah, we have the thing from Ogden now to grow, like, two things. Oh! Oh, a new slime! Dervish slime twists and turns all day and spirals all night. He looks like a little planet. Oh, that thing is so cute. Are these slimes? These look like slimes that are stacked on top of each other. Come on. Now, if I could find another one of the- Oh, yeah, well, let's read about the Dervish Slime, yeah. Like, we just discovered where we found a brand new area. We're going to find a lot of new stuff here. Might as well read about them, right? When we find them, that way we don't, like, get, like, a bunch of stuff left behind that we haven't read about yet. <laughs> fruit, uh, eats fruit, and its favorite thing is prickle pear. Okay, so this seems like another thing we could keep on our main area, because we've got, you know, mainly just fruit over there anyways. So, this is good. We can get, if we can get, like, a pick- not a prickle pear. If we can get like a pear tree or something like that, I'd probably have to get rid of the incinerator, honestly, if I wanted to do that. Either that or like the thing Ogden gave us, like we can grow two trees on one plot. Hopefully we could have like one of them be like a lemon and then the other one be the pear tree. That would be good. Uh, but we still have to myth bust that at home. Let's read about the slimeology of the dervish slime, though. A dervish slime is a swirling, whirling bundle of energy in slimy form. Dervish slimes are commonly found in the glass desert, cruising across its dusty dunes at high speed. Atop little whirlwinds. Ooh. Like, it looks like a little planet to me, but I guess it was like little, little, like, spinning things around it or something like that. Oh, like, I, I only saw it, like, for a split second there, so I didn't really see it out in the, in the wild for too long. Uh, let's see. One thing is for certain, wherever the dervish, dervish slime needs to go, it gets there in a hurry. <laughs> Rancher risks. Dervish slimes can cause total chaos 
on the ranch if not cared for properly. Okay, sounds like the uh, quantum slimes, honestly. In addition to frequently riding atop whirlwinds at high speed and collecting objects along the way, a highly agitated dervish slime can produce giant cyclones of air that vacuum up and toss about anything they touch. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we definitely want to get this, this pear tree and make sure this guy's nice and fed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, when cyclones are roaring across your ranch, there's little you can do other than embrace for the chaos that will soon follow. Plortonomics. Dervish plorts are a fantastic source of clean energy that helps give turbines and generators an extra boost. They are in constant demand as, curiously, there is a finite number of spins stored in every dervish plort. Interesting. Huh, I guess that makes sense. Anyways, that's pretty cool. We read about that thing as soon as we came across it, and now we know more information about this little spinny guy here, so that's cool. Oh, we got a chicken, uh... Okay, so we just have regular hen hens over here. We didn't find another type of chicken over here, so that's interesting. Oh, yeah, it, we need to find its prickle, uh... Oh, is this what it is? No. Oh, I wish, I wish there was an H around here I could read. Why does it look like there's something there, but it's, like, erased? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, oh, oh! What is this? What is this? Look! I don't know what that is. I'm... That's probably the prickle pear thing. But I... Oh, what if we put a hen hen here? Look! Oh my god, it worked! What? Wait, what's happening? Is it supposed to do that? Uh, uh maybe? <laughs> I don't know, the chicken looks like it's about to launch off into space or something like that. I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, I guess we'll just leave them like that. Uh, this, this plant over here. Oh, look at that big old slime right there. <laughs> you just did a backflip right there, or a front flip, I couldn't tell. Uh, I, need, I need to figure more stuff out about this prickle pear thing, though. Oh, and there's a rooster. Oh! Right off the bat, it looks like we found we found the Gordo up here, you guys. The, uh, Dervish Gordo? I'm like, he likes, he likes fruit. Oh, honestly, yeah, fruit probably. Oh, what in the world is this? What is that thing? That's not a puddle slime. It might be the puddle slime. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we have to probably bring puddle slimes over here because we're in, like, a desert. Yeah, a glass desert. Yeah, it probably wants puddle slimes, you know, as a source of water or something like that, so... That's going to be another puzzle we have to figure out here. There's a lot of... What, what does this map look like here? What is this? Oh, this is this thing now. Oh, that's what that is after all this time. We finally figured out what this is. Golly. And it's a pretty big area here, too. Like, look at how huge... It's like as big as this area up here, basically. This whole map. Holy... Man. We need to find that thing that, like, exposes the whole map so we don't, uh, so it's not all, like, a mystery like this. And it actually, like, just it shows the terrain and everything like that. That'd be good. But it's probably going to be a little while until we find that. I'm kind of lost here already. Thankfully, it's, that looks like that's the beginning because it's showing the house icon over there. I'm hearing, like, weird noises. Can I parkour up this? I, okay, I can. It doesn't really show me anything here. I'm going to keep going this way, though. Yep. See if we can find anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think we can get up there. It seems like we might need to go around then. Oh, there's a chicken coop right here, but I'm not seeing any chickens. There's another one of these things here. Yeah, I don't know. Chickadoo. Yeah, just a regular old chickadoo, and that's regular old Rushro. Yeah, I, I, I think we need to go around to get up there. I don't think we could, like, parkour up there, unfortunately. So, let's go around, see if we can find anything else of interest around here. I'm trying to find treasure pods or anything like that around here. Throwing a little- Ow! More of them! More of them! We got another dervish slime! Got him! Nice! Awesome! But we still need to prickle- Oh, oh, oh! Uh-oh. Uh... The music just got, like, really spooky right there. Well, we have rock slimes over here, so hey, a familiar face. That's good. Stony hen there. I'm, I'm gonna save my inventory for right now. Heartbeat things. Hold on, is there a lucky slime around here or something like that? I'm hearing jingling, or a gold slime. Oh! My gosh, what in the world? Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, well, at least we have a uh, water. Oh, the desert is like uh, exploding fire everywhere. What has happened? Oh no, we just got hit. Oh, that's bad, that is bad. Oh, another guy, grab him. Oh, these are the flame slimes. Grab him! Oh, I don't think I can! Can I? Oh, oh, oh! Oh I, oh, I don't have room! I don't have room! I don't have room! We got it! We got the fire slime! 
That, oh, that is so interesting. That is so interesting how you get them. And they're like exploding and stuff like that. I probably kill them by splashing with water, honestly. <laughs> oh, they're like the puddle slime. Oh yeah, this is, <sighs> holy heck, we're, so much stuff is going on right now, you guys. Is there another one around here? There's gotta be, oh, there's two more. Holy, look at this. Oh, and the, 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 the dervish ones are causing like tornadoes over here. Oh my gosh. We got like almost 10 of them so far. Is this like event ended yet? I don't think so. This is a real old rooster right there. Oh, 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 out of stamina. Oh, another five. Okay, let's get 10. 10 and 10. That sounds good to me. This is this looks very much like the, the, the puddle slime. Just, you know, a fire version of it. I'm still hearing the, the, the jingling sound. As if there's a gold slime around here somewhere. Who knows where it is? Was it down? Oh, look at, oh, you can see the dirty slime kind of spinning right there for a minute. That was cool. And now everything's kind of settled down and we're back to normal. <laughs> like nothing ever happened right there. I'm like, if I could find one. Oh, oh, are they sizzling out or something like that? I just heard one like, and then like, it sounded like it just went away. I guess after a set amount of time of being, oh, what happens if I grab that guy and put him? Oh, nothing, I guess. Still here in the. I don't know. It might just be like the sound the fire slime makes or something, but I'm still hearing what sounds like a gold slime somewhere. I just don't know where. I don't know. But there is an H down here. We do need to read these things. The glass desert is a fascinating place, but you need to be on guard. Any moment a dangerous solar anomaly can occur that will cause all heck to break loose for a spell. Hey, I like this guy. Sounds like me. <laughs> You'll know it when you see it. I know! You're a little bit too late to tell me. You probably should have told me before I came here. Why do you put this all the way over here? <laughs> You'll know it when you see it. And when you do, head for cover or risk burning your tukus. <laughs> H. Hobson, I think his name was. I keep forgetting it, but I think I might have remembered it there in like the last time we read something there. So, that's cool. Oh, don't want to fall down there. Or else that's surefire death. I'm <laughs> speaking of fire. Hey, we got fire slimes. We got a random hen hen here, just in case there is a gold, uh... Oh, is he? Oh, I doubt he's up there. Yes, it's, it's coming from, like, around here. Where is, Oh, what is that? Painted... Painted hen? Let me get rid of that. Oh, some believe it. Oh, no, the noise is still going. Oh, look at the little chickadoo right there. Painted chickadoo? Some believe it, uh, what lies at the end of the rainbow. Totally disappointing. <laughs> really? The painted hen is at the end of the rainbow? <laughs> Oh, that's a good meme, but I still need to find out how to get the prickle pear from these things. I have four dervish things, but I'm like, I can give it any type of fruit, but it, it, pretty sure it's got to be from this thing. Probably need to throw a fruit at it or something like that. Because it looks like this thing is ready to give me a prickle pear, but this one isn't. But I don't have any inventory right now to, uh... Oh, is this what a painted hen thing? Okay, you know what? Let me put that there. I'm still hearing it. Oh no, the Gilded Gin, that's what it was. A few, uh, very few ranchers will ever read this. We found a Gilded Ginger, you guys. I remember reading comments about this thing from like the first few episodes or something. That's what was making the noise. And that's, I think that's what we give to the gold slime to get double gold plorts. So that's good that we got that. I don't know if we could actually grow that at home. But now we can't get the painted... Because I want to keep the gold plort. I want to keep the gilded ginger. Ah, uh, That sucks. I really want to... Oh, I, oh, did we put the painted hen there? I wonder. Hold on. Let me put... Let me put the gold plort over here. We already have some at home. Just temporarily. Just want to put that there. Let's see. Zip. No. Okay, nothing happened there. <laughs> well, that sucks. All right. Let's go grab the thing back. And yeah, there's another painted hen right there. So yeah, they are spawning in like right here. So I just need to come back to this area specifically. And then hopefully we'll be able to figure something out with the the, the, the pear thing. Like it's called a prickle pear. So that's why I'm thinking, oh, it's like these cactus things. Like I'm not thinking about like an actual tree, like a pear tree or anything like that, you know? I'm, I'm just thinking of like the cactus. So that's why I keep thinking that those things are going to give us a prickle pears, which they probably are. Or maybe they're, maybe they're not. Maybe they're just purely decoration. Maybe I'll actually find uh, one of those little treasure pod things and it'll give me the ability to place those down near my base. Which I still need to do, by the way. I still need to decorate it. I haven't done like any decorations at all. Except for, of course, the Gordo that might be over there now. So that's going to be pretty cool. 
But you know what? This episode is pretty long. It's probably another 50 minute episode or something like that. Just guessing here. Or an hour long, honestly. Who knows? <laughs> so let's just head home before it becomes too long. And of course, we can come back. Oh, jeez. Uh, of course, we can come back next episode and more fully explore that glass desert area. And of course, uh, do more stuff with like the fire slime, the dervish slime. Uh, maybe, maybe if we find another, you know, keep a gilded ginger in our inventory at all times if we can't plant it and grow more. Just keep one in our inventory at all times until we come across another golden, uh, uh, golden slime. Oh yeah, this takes us home. And then hopefully we get double, uh, gold plorts out of them and that'll be a really good thing, you guys. Oh, this didn't work! Oh, you probably have to place this... <sighs> yeah, it's just sitting out there. Like, I don't know. I don't know when that's gonna work. I need to look into that, you guys. Let's go put up the uh, the gold plort over here. Yep, there you go. Uh, for farms though, I guess we'll put the guild of ginger over here and see if we could uh, plant it. So let's see. I know we'll spend a little bit of money if this doesn't work. We'll waste it. But garden, there you go. And then guild of ginger. Oh no, yeah, I, I was kind of thinking that. I knew that was. Yep, boom. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, can't plant it over here. You just you just have to keep it. So that sucks. Oh, deluxe upgrade. Ooh, a special upgrade designed by Ogden Ortiz that tweaks the garden's replicator to produce a bigger harvest than normally possible. Okay. So it doesn't only work on fruit trees, it also works on vegetables, I assume. You just get double the harvest. So that's really, really good, especially over here. Uh, let's do the upgrade here with the Oka Okas and stuff. Deluxe upgrade. Boom. So how's that work? Oh, it just adds like two more things like right here for the for the Oka Okas and I assume same thing for the odd onions. And then if we if we do it for, to a fruit tree, we'll get two trees instead of like two garden bed things over here. Interesting stuff. And they even have their own uh, sprinklers. It looks like kind of built in there. I don't know. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> These guys good on water? Nope. They need some. That's good that I came over here though. So boom, they're good. And hey, look at that. We've got fire slime, so we can place them in the incinerator. It's just that we're probably not going to have the incinerator there for very long. Honestly, probably want to go move it over by the chickens and the pond slimes and stuff like that. You know, just so they're all in one place. If I, if I manually have to harvest plorts from the pond slimes, I might as well also put them in an area where I have to manually harvest them from the fire slimes. So honestly, might move. Oh, man, a lot of chickens just spawned in. Might move the, uh, the, the incinerator like either here or I'll move it over here. And I'll have to. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, good fruit right there. Or I'll move it over here because there's already a big pond slime area over there already, you know, so I'll have to figure something out in that regard. But, oh, these guys are hungry. Oh, they're out of chickens and stuff, too. Yeah, I need to put chickens over here. That way the robot guy knows to put uh, more hen hens over here. He's collecting them. He's just placing them all over here in this other area because there's already a bunch of chickens. Like, look at all those chickens. Those chickens on the outside want to go back on the inside of there and get eaten or something. <laughs> what are they doing? They're a bunch of dumb chickens. That's what. I was grab all these chickens, go put them up over in the hunter slime area, make sure they're nice and fed. I guess we'll keep the guild of ginger up in storage or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, I do know I need to keep it like in a, in my inventory or something like that in case it, you know, the time ever comes that we need to I'll leave that for the drone to take care of. In case we ever need to actually, you know, use it on a golden slime. It's just that, oh, we have three uh, elders that are cool. This is, you, you can never really predict when, you're, when a golden slime is going up here. And of course, if you have one in your inventory all the time, it's just kind of wasting space if you're never going to see a golden slime except for like once every couple episodes, right? So, I don't know. I might just put it up in storage. Maybe if we see a golden one, we can come back home, grab the golden uh, gilded ginger, and then go back and hopefully it's still there, right? So that's something we have to think about. And yeah, pond plorts. You know what? I'll grab these. There you go. You can see I've got the spicy tofu over here as well. So there you go. Dervish slimes. We need to do something with that. But I suppose for right now, we can put the the, the fire slimes over here. So are these guys able to escape? If oh, oh, no. Well, they're able to escape if that happens. Golly. Oh, grab them back. Okay, so I assume it's going to be similar to the pond slime, where you want to have three of them maximum, I think, and then four of them if you can get- Oh, they do Oh, they just produced a plort! What is that plort? Oh, yeah, well, obviously the fire plort, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, stop bouncing all over- Ow! Oh, then it hurts me. There we go, okay. They're eating the ash and stuff like that over here. There, I guess there's no way to really automate this. Other than I guess every now and then just throwing some random trash inside of here and then boom, you get some ash and then uh, these guys will produce some stuff for you. Let's go see if there's any toys that I can give them. Probably, honestly. Uh, let's see. There's something gyro top. Oh, the, yeah, the, well, this is for the dervish slime. That makes sense, having a gyro top for them. Charcoal brick. Yep, fire slimes. Look at that little charcoal thing. Oh! 
Man, that thing looks crazy. Look at that. <laughs> it's all smiling and stuff, too. Mint inbox. We just got, like, uh, like 10 or something like that toys. I wouldn't even try to get that achievement, and we got it right there, you guys. Cool. Uh, let's make that face up if I can. Hey, there you go. Uh, let's get it. So we should be able to get another slime here, right? Yep. There you go. We got four of them now. We got uh, four fire ports, or three fire ports right now. Oh, four of them now. <laughs> that one just produced another one, so... Whoop. I'm like, I can't really tell if these guys are going to blush, if they're uncomfortable or whatever, if there's too many of them while I kind of jazz, but uh, I assume we're fine right now, because they're not... They're, I'm like, they're all hugging the charcoal thing right there, which is really funny <laughs> and really cute, too. But I, I, mean, I am curious. Fire plort, how is this... Uh, oh, it's that one right there, 58. Ooh, that's good money. Puddle plort's also giving us good money, too, at 42. That's awesome. And we got two, a couple doubles right there. That's cool, too. And there we go. Got a bunch of 58s right there for selling that. Awesome stuff. Dervis Slime still. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Probably going to place it over here, to be quite honest. I guess for right now. There you go. We can give it, like, uh, mint mangoes or something like that. Is this... I bet this isn't spawning in because it doesn't have room. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you know what? We should probably combine it together with this uh, Saber Slime. Look at these guys. Just making little mini tornadoes underneath them. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, are these any guys hungry over here? Oh, one of them is. Oh, a couple of them are. I don't know if any of them have escaped because of that, but uh, you know what? Boom. There you go. Get double plorts from you. Double plorts. Oh, man. I don't know if it's the feeder that's not feeding these guys, or if it's because we have too many of them and that they're all stacked on top of each other. The ones at the top can't eat, you know? Because all the food's like at the bottom and they can't reach it. I don't know, but uh, these guys face lemons. There you go. I got ate it. Cool. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right there. Oh, there's one in the middle. I can't see him, though. Okay, that, I thought one, that one phased out or something like that. But let's grab some mint mangoes over here. You know, some some type of fruit for these guys over here to eat. At least for right now. We can get a couple of mint mangoes inside of there. We got like four of them, so. Yep, there you go. And we'll put that on low. There we go. So these guys are eating them. Cool. And they're giving us the uh, dervish ports. Awesome. There we go. And we got four of them. So how, how much do these go for? I assume a decent amount. Like, they're brand new. I've never sold any of them. 93! Holy... I should probably just, like, hold on to these and then wait for that to go up even more, you know? Now, can I put the other fire slimes over here, though? I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I definitely want to potentially move these guys. Maybe next episode I'll do it, and I'll move it over by the docks or something like that. And we can set up a drone over there specifically to pick up free roam plorts or whatever, right? So that's going to be good. It'll be able to pick up the plorts from the, the pond slimes as well as the fire slimes. That's going to be awesome. What, was, what am I doing over here? Oh, I guess if I, could, I could put some fire ports and dirge ports up here if I wanted to, but, uh... Oh, yeah, I was going to... I was seeing if I could make a drone to, uh, do that. Uh, I can. Ooh, awesome. So I guess we could do that, and then maybe next episode we could, uh, worry about setting that up or something like that. But for this episode, I definitely need to end it off, like, uh, ten minutes ago or something like that. <laughs> Man, I'm just having so much fun with all the new stuff that's going on right now. I'm getting really distracted, and time is just flying because I'm having fun. So, either way, I need to end this episode off right here. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And of course, if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of Slime Rancher comes out. It's like I said last episode, changed my upload schedule very slightly because uh, now I have a, a day off on Mondays. So, you know, usually it'd be Tuesdays. I kind of switched a couple things around. So, you know, pushed uh, some of the episodes back like one day for a different series. So, you know, I could squeeze in that one day off a week, which is great. So, if you guys aren't used to my new upload schedule, just be sure to click that bell and YouTube will keep you notified with all my new uploads as soon as they come out so you don't have to worry about all that. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to upgrade these with a the double, uh, yeah, deluxe upgrade. Boom. So how's that look? Oh, my gosh, it grows two trees on the outside. What? <laughs> I didn't think it did that. I thought it actually just had to... Uh, yeah, look at that. You'd think there'd be three trees there, but I guess it looked kind of messy. <laughs> There you go. So we have these upgraded over here, so that's going to be good. We're going to get more mint mangoes. We're going to get more phase lemons. Hopefully the uh, drone over here. Oh, he wants water. That's why he's not doing anything. There we go. But either way, uh, I think I already did the whole outro there. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there. Oh.